Yo, what up, guys? The Two Hands Good Automotive Motor Fish here with Real Experience Ball Reviews, Storm Bowling, and the Bowling Factory here in Douglasville, Georgia, along with 12 Bagger and Cooler providing me with these awesome jerseys, bringing you a ball review on the all new Optima Model Pearl. Of course, the Optima Model Pearl features the original Icon Core that all of the original idols had, featuring the Microtrax Pearl reactive cover stock. Pretty sure that was also on the Exotic Gym. So, you know, a little stronger, a little more earlier roll, a little more stabilization. That is drawing pictures. <laughs> but, uh, Again, we have a typical house shot uh, conditions out for you guys. So we're gonna be comparing it to the Idol Cosmos, the Optimum Idol, and the original Idol all in the raw shots portion. So hope you guys enjoy. If you do enjoy, please feel free to like and subscribe. It helps us and it helps you get more videos of us on your page, but hope you guys enjoy. Yo, what up guys, back again. So, Optimum Idol Pearl. First thing out of the box you guys will probably notice is this ball is bright. I've already dubbed it bubblegum. <laughs> but again, we're on a typical house shot condition here. <laughs> so I'm gonna stand, I don't know, like 18. Just kind of throw it somewhere to the right. It's better. I like how this ball reads in the mid lane pretty well. It's still a really strong shell along with the AI core. The Icon core was pretty strong to begin with, but now you have AI on it, so it's gonna flare a little more and read a little sooner. Along with the Micro uh, Microtrax Pearl cover stock. So I think this ball is actually gonna be pretty useful on tour. I don't think it's gonna be too skid flippy because we, like we like those early rolls on tour. <sighs> so we're gonna, get out, we're gonna throw one out and see what happens. No, I didn't get it out again. Oh, okay. My angles and my launch angles are not steep. <laughs> I'm not used to throwing right anymore. I really like how that's reading, even though I missed left twice. Um, it helped because we're on a house shot. But uh, after throwing this ball a little bit and consulting with a few people, I really feel like this ball reminds me and a few other peoples of peoples, a few other people of an original Zen. And then I stick. All right, really excited to see a Microtrax Pearl symmetric. This ball feels a little twitchy right now. I feel like I could hit it with a 3000 pad and it would stable out a little bit. I don't want to do that right now. So we're just going to try to work around it. But uh, yeah, we're going to move back a little left here because that one definitely hooked. So we're going to move back to 20. We're going to slow down and give this one a little bit more of a wheel. All right, still hooked. Move left about 22. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah. That ball definitely reads the mid lanes really well. I feel like it doesn't get, you know, extremely far down the lane like a high road pearl or anything super small. So this ball is really stable for me right now. Or once I moved left. Once I, when I was right and throwing it kind of hard, it wasn't stable, but once I got a little slower, I liked that ball reaction a lot. So we're gonna go back to 25 here and get this ball to start a little sooner to go through the pins a little better. But I'd also like to mention this is probably not like a game one ball. I'd say unless you're throwing really hard of a track or you're really slow, this is more of like a transition piece to late burn piece. So I can see myself using this late in blocks on tour maybe, um, if I'm not just in an intention star the entire time. But we're gonna go back to 25. Slow down, open up, and try to let her hook. Ooh. Definitely got a little more miss room out there than I thought. But yeah, for those of you who loved the original Idol, or the original Zen, I feel like this is a good blend between the two because the original Zen was early Pearl symmetric. So this is another early Pearl symmetric that's a little rounder, it's not too skid flippy. And the original Idol also had if you shine it up, rarely did we ever really like sand our idols. We always kind of use them shiny to go around the lane because that's what for some reason they're just really good at doing. So I feel like this is a little bit of a mixture of the both. But I'm definitely leaning more towards the Zen theory. Because <laughs> it rolls, feels like a Zen to me. All right, yeah, we're just too deep. 
ball's getting too far down the lane before it uses its energy. Or let me rephrase that. It's not hooking soon enough. It's hooking too far down the lane. Ball motion is too far down the lane, so it's not wanting to actually use its energy and go through the pins. I'm not losing enough axis rotation. We're going to move back right a little bit and throw one or two more shots with this bubble gum. Very, very pretty ball. A very pretty ball. A lot of people should like the colors of this ball. Yeah, move back right. Fell off it. Oof. I wish there was a 10 pin there so the messenger actually could have connected. Uh, yeah, so Optima model from 20. Optima model Pearl, my bad. It's pretty good. Yeah, I split the 8-9 real nice, literally. So, hope you guys enjoyed. That will be, you know, the tech talk portion of the Optima model Pearl. Not much to talk about. Microtrax Pearl, original Icon AI Core, or AI modified core. So, I think it rolls similar to an OG Zen. I've had people tell me they think it rolls like an original Shiny Idol. So, that's up to you guys, but we're gonna put the raw shots in here now, comparing it to the original Idol, the Idol Cosmos, and the Optimum Idol. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Again, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.